Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we've been playing in the LZ Alpha for 866 cycles and now. We've been going around making sure everything is working tip-top and wonderful for the past few cycles, but I think it is time for us to take the step that any space-bound civilization really does need to take. We have a problem that if anything was to happen of this base, our civilization would crumble with a single, single stroke so we need to try and address this and to do so we need to take to space i totally didn't mean to push that then aha uh -huh. uh, well, the problem that we've got about taking to space not only do we have this old pile of regolith here but that's not a problem that's something we can sort out relatively easily the big problem that we've got is we've only got one space scanner here and for these to actually work properly at least well enough to uh, protect themselves we need to have two of them i'll talk about exactly why later on but so yeah we need to try and get enough of stuff up here to make two but I've got another little problem that we're just going to like very quickly deal with at the first time. And this will actually be very quickly, unlike the other times that I've said very quickly. I have already come along and I've put an airflow tile up in here because, of course, the last time that we went and sorted out all the heat regulation for the steam uh, vent here, we had ourselves a little bit of a problem. And the, this needs to be sorted out because, unfortunately, the water going through the steam turbines is indeed the uh, the cooling liquid for the aqua tuners down here. So as uh, long as that's not running, Running, this switch here keeps being up too high and uh, too hot sorry turns everything off so we need to clear all that out that was probably a little bit too much information for the intro let's get back up to space shall we so how am I gonna figure out where I want this uh, scanner to go it's very simple I'm just gonna hold down my council tool here and go and uh, press up against this here bunker tile and in the middle it tells me how far away I need to have it from the edge of the bunker tile and as you can see 16 16 blocks so let's come on over here let's go whoop, and go six Dean right here. Okay, I need to uh, just very quickly put down a marker for myself to know where it is, and now let's try and put down the space scanner in exactly the same position. I'm going to just drag it over here on the same line, and as simple as that, we need to now bring all the duplicates up and start digging. I'm hoping that the layer of regolith that we have above us is going to be enough to protect us. The fact that these are trying to close instead of be open, I, I don't know what's going on here. Well, I do know what's going on here. We're out of power, but why are they, uh, why are they not just closed? I have a feeling that this has sent a, 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 net, a signal let's uh, in fact check the automation overlay and as you can see yes it's green so they're opened are they opening i'm not sure what's going on let's just leave them to it until we have an entire setup ready to go of course to have a symmetrical setup here i am also going to need to have another set of bunker doors across the top but we run into a small issue i um i don't have enough steel that, that's it, not enough materials there. So we're going to have to try and go through and make them. And in fact, we, we have enough to make this first one here, but we actually need eight. That that That's a lot. That's much more than I had anticipated. Uh, it's fine, though. We'll just carry on turning over the steel. Let's go down and have a look and see what's going on down there. Is anything holding us up? I suspect something is, but what would that be? Lime. Of course, now we come over here and have a look. Rock crusher, errands. I mean, people can do stuff here. We're just... Wait, eggshell into lime also wants to be on forever? Okay, fossil into lime, no workable order. Hmm. I mean, this is always a terrible idea, but let's just crank it up by one, right? Or, or even... Let's see what happens when everybody turns up. Okay, we've got loads of eggshell being delivered here. This makes me think maybe we should set up a storage bin on a much higher priority and just get everything delivered there uh, relatively quickly. Yeah, that, that that seems like a good idea. Let's get that made. Also, we'll keep like fossil and stuff like that. Anything that can be turned into lime, we will slam into this place here. Man, that one blip on the, uh, on the alert really did come through for us. Oh, look, look at all these eggshells. What, what? How has this happened? Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe something to do with this lot? It's hard to tell sometimes, honestly. Wow, so we are running at a little bit of a power deficit right now. And if I go around and have a look, this is uh, this is my hydrogen generator here. It's currently dormant. Uh, like, great. Okay, if we press number two over here, this is my steam uh, turbine. Uh, it's, it's also dormant. Over here we have natural gas. It's just woken up. That's very nice. That's 73. That, that's cool. But it's only just starting to wear back up. Number four, this guy, uh, dormant, but going through all the gas that has been stored up there. And five, uh, I think this is the only one that's actually turning over in the middle of its cycle right now. So yeah, the power's been very interesting. Uh, this is still not turning over quite the way it should be, even though we got this turning over quite nicely now. I mean, we definitely still have this turning on and off every now and then, but I'm not sure where it's getting its fuel from right now. 
end of day has been cool, but we can indeed come into here. Is it the actual eggs or is it actually an industrial ingredient? I think it might be an industrial ingredient. Well, we definitely want the poke shell malts. Eggshell. It, it's, it's an organic. Okay, it's an organic. We'll put everything in there. I'm literally going to turn this up to the highest priority, but like no one should care about it the majority of the time. And then when it does tick over, it will just be uh, like jelly or people like that. Anybody who is on the tidy and or supply line over here. In fact, shall we mess with them a little bit? I think we should. Go, go, go. Uh, they've all woken up, so this should be fine. Everybody's on the current errand. I'm... Ooh... Did everybody just watch that overload happen? I did. Okay, we're going to have to keep an eye on that. I'm not... I, I didn't think we had enough supply... Uh, enough consumers to uh, to c cause that amount of drain. We'll have to double check on that. Maybe we'll go th as far as upgrading our uh, power network to refined heavy watt wire. It's quite quite expensive stuff, but that's fine. All right, this is, this is working incredibly well. Everyone's kind of just going around doing their thing. As you can see, almost all of the... Oh, I pressed the... Uh, Press the scroll outside of the screen there, and when you're in this weird screenshot mode, it doesn't really like it. Uh, everybody is just going ahead and doing it. Is there anybody who's not involved here? I'm like, I'm not seeing Shrouticus's name anywhere on here. That's that's a little bit interesting that these guys are unable to carry. Perhaps, perhaps that's like one of his properties. Maybe you, you know, there's people that like can't can't research, can't dig, can't whatever. Maybe he can't carry. Legitimately impressed with how much eggshell there is to be found around here. I uh, I really thought my my one little. Uh, uh, one little rant, uh, not rant, one, my one little uh, conversational voyage across the landscape would have uh, taken me all the way to the end of this being filled up. But no, no, even when I like took a little diver into what people can and can't do, it still wasn't enough. And still people are running around what, what I would like to say quite confined area. It's, uh, it's it's not too far away. I suppose this is where all the uh, all the animals are. I reckon we could speed this entire process up if we just put one of these airlocks here. It's not like this is actually now part of a base that needs to be uh, contained. So yeah, let's go. Ooh, no, I want to get that and I want to double it out. And as soon as someone comes along to do this, of course they're not going to because we've got this super high priority over here. Of course, we fight fire with fire. Lol. There's no no way this is going to backfire in my face, right? In fact, oh, I was kind of hoping that Frank would go, be coming along to do it. Mimi! Mimi is our saviour. Thank you. That should speed up the entire process. Is this going to be the entire day? I think it might be the entire day. Uh, I'm going to put that back on the nine now. We, we've got enough. We've got enough. But the thing I wanted to do was come over here and make sure this is still doing okay. Okay, we're down to milligrams, micrograms over here. I right, 41 kilos of eggshell. Oh, that's amazing. Now, if I remember correctly, a good thing to do next once you've done that is open the shipping, get this auto sweeper out, and as long as you've got somewhere to place it, it can then get out of this storage bin and put it into the rock crusher, I believe. Of course, we've got to like power it and stuff, but that, that should work out. Oof, that's a lot of power drawing through here. No bother, we'll just turn this into two separate uh, two separate circuits, right? I'll get another one of these power transformers. We'll just pop that over into this corner here. We've already got a little bit of heavy watt wire. I don't want it to be there, though, so let's do that like that. And whilst we're here, get rid of those wires. Beautiful. Then we can take the little wire that we've got underneath here. Wire, thank you very much. Go for a B to copy it. Ah, I was going to just go out. We could just go across here, but of course we need to get the bridge out. Like so. Alright, that, that should work out much better for us, I'm, I'm hoping. I wish there was a way of setting up priorities based on automation. Because uh, I totally want to keep an eye on this. Um, and maybe even like put down an airflow tile job to go over the top of it. But I'm totally worried that someone will come along and do the job way before it's ready to be done. But if I could have a little atmosphere sensor here hooked up to detect the, the, um, the either the steam or the oxygen. It'll probably be the steam and then not gate, obviously, because I want to. I just want to have the steam up here i'm not trying to get rid of oxygen i'm trying to get the steam up you see the difference um and then then it would trigger up a high priority when the conditions are right and turn it back that would be ideal i mean i suppose i could really just set up an airlock here and do something like that because this would then be in a vacuum <sighs> Okay, maybe that would have been a better way of doing it, but I can't see any way of making that so now without introducing a whole bunch more oxygen to the system. I don't think we can let Cubic... Is Cubic around a ranch? I don't know what Cubic is doing. Let's go and have a look. But he keeps getting beaten up by these guys. Is he a rancher or is he a... Uh a farmer. Let's go to the skills instead. He's a farmer. He could be a rancher as well, though. Let's let's put him into ranching as well. Let's see if this would stop him getting destroyed by the critters. 
What? What's what? What's going on here? I don't think you are ready, Cubic. Oh, I think we've had a problem. I think that. Oh, I was just trying to keep an eye on this because Mad Frank needs to come along and fix it. But uh, he's just celebrating the new day a lot. Oh, and he's done. Okay. Well, I mean, I always like a celebration, don't you? Okay, now the big thing that was worrying me... Yeah, no, we're good, we're good. I was worried that it was going to be drawing too much current, but it's fine. We'll go up and around and down into like that and then do a little F9 just to make sure it actually gets done in the episode. <laughs> Shall we try moving him to another bed? Let, let's, let's try that. Let's see if that works. Oh, he's off. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Oh, it's because you've got a new hat. All right, I get it. Oh, I do get it. Bit buggy, though. Oh, nice. It's working. Beautiful. It ain't to make more steel. I'm going to turn off the iron ore to iron. In fact, I already have. Because we've got the 8.7 tons of iron up here. That's that's more than most of the others, other than lead, of course. Because, but lead, lead you just find lying around down here. So that, that's why we've got more lead. But yeah, hopefully this will make more steel so we can get on with the, uh, with the space expansion up here. Oh, I think I just caught it at the exact moment it ticked over. Beautiful. This insulated tile, very important all of a sudden. I don't know if anybody's going to actually be anywhere close. Oh, I knew she'd be up top somewhere. Oh, she was carrying some steel up here. What a, what a, what a shame to interrupt her doing that. Oh, well, the interesting thing is with these uh, steam turbine, turbines causing their own vacuum here, none of the gas is being able to get into this this pump room over here. That That's nice. I was a little bit worried that this steam would actually pour into here and start melting my uh, my gas pump, but, but no. Vacuums for the win. Kind of makes me chuckle. So we've got some conductive wires here. These are the last three wires we need to make sure that this all starts working. And look at all of this iron up here. But of course that's dangerous to get, so people have to come all the way down, at minimum, to this one here. But mostly people are coming all the way down to here to grab the iron. Oh, it's a little much. I might need to try and put some of those uh, transport tubes in at some point. Oh, look, we've got a shove vole leg here. I'm told the best way to deal with them is to actually drop them on a tile in the middle of nowhere. So I'm going to leave this tile here because it's actually underneath the 45 degree angle here. So not, it's not interfering with anything. I'm just going to drop that egg right down there. I might even set up one of those critter drop off points. And uh, yeah, yeah. In fact, I'm not even going to say oh, I might. Uh, let's do it. We're going to set up a critter, critter drop off here. We'll just shove all our drop vole. Uh, shove voles there. We'll drop all our shove voles there, not shove all our drop voles. <laughs> Ah, awesome. Power delivery is on the way. Now we just need to make it as nice to be over this side as this is. Uh, that might take a little bit more work, but we're definitely going to try. Ah, that makes it a little bit awkward. A little bit of a spacing issue here. That's no big problem. I'm just going to put another one underneath it and move it all down one block. C cubic! Ah, all right, we're, we're literally just going to have to not have him in here at any times ever. Uh, cubic, where are you? Let's set you up your own custom thing that you just... You can't even get in here. Go on, get out. He's trying. He's trying. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got to put him back in a bed. That, oh, that was painful. My bed, I obviously... Oh, he, he should be in there anyway. What was he trying to do? Get food, maybe? I mean, we are pretty short of calories right right now. What? What is up with that? Where's the water? Oh, here's the water. Hmm... To be panicking about food. What makes you think I'm panicking about the food situation? Everything is totally normal and fine here. Honestly, all this talk of a shoddily put together farm area because the colony manager had completely mismanaged all the resources and end up without any food as soon as water ran dry. This is all just alarmist separatist talk. This is this is not what's going on here at all. In fact, any such talk will be considered insubordination from here on out. Well, during this uh, very not panic dig out to try and get the oxygen spreading around inside this room, Shroudicus totally went and climbed up the rock face and got himself stuck up there. I've given him a dig order because, you know, what else is he going to do? We'll just hope that he can get out before he suffocates. How much uh, oxygen does he have? I mean, like, look, he's, he's pretty good. He's at like 70%. To be, to be sure, I'm going to turn these up just, uh, just so misaligned or someone can come and help him out. Oh, he doesn't have the skills. Well, we've got some mathic rock here. Let's go ahead and put down another two of those. All right, may maybe he'll just go ahead and um, build his own way out. That would be very useful right about now, wouldn't it? Could he jump down and get... He is jumping down and getting out. Okay, let's just cancel that. I, I don't want you even. I don't want you even. Just get out of there. That's cool. We'll destroy this and we'll put it back into place later. Man, at this rate, this shovel's going to have uh, grown up and uh, started a family, had his own kids. Poor. 
every now and then I feel like it's very important just come along with your P5, drag that out and put everything else back down to a low priority. And now that everything's at five, we'll see what dies. Because of course, some things have gonna be propped up by the fact that it was a high priority. Things like, well, for instance, the steel production. This is why I wanted to put it up. It's because almost everything there was already nice and high. But the only thing that I actually want to move up is if we come over to here and look in the consumable ore, you see lime. I want to put that one up nice and high. Even still, no, no one wants to move the stuff. What? So Forrest should be our researcher and our operator, and I feel like he's not really doing any of those. So I'm going to turn down all his priorities here, and we're going to follow him around tomorrow. Well, having just watched them for one night, I can already tell you that things are pretty bad here. As you can see with the gas overlay, we're actually in a lot of trouble. Let's go see what Forrest is doing to make this uh, better. I'm not expecting much, actually. I'm expecting him just to go and get the uh, the steel underway, the steel production underway, which is not good because he didn't pick up didn't pick up his uh, his suit. Wait, wait, wait. Come come back here. Come back here before you do anything. Turn this on. Okay, I feel slightly worried for the people that are inside the base, but we're just going to have to let Forrest go around. Why are you trying to get some more air? Like, that? you just put a suit on. Surely, surely that surely that would be it. No? No, am I wrong there? Okay, let's go see what he does here. He's going to fabricate supply to Forrest. I mean, the, this top errand is never very useful, is it? Current errand, fabrication supply to Forrest. It, doesn't, it really doesn't say what it is. I mean, why is he even supplying? We've turned down his supply priority. Surely, surely. That, where, where is he? Forrest. Yeah, we turn, we turn the supplied right down let's turn that down even further okay so people are delivering eggshell lime uh, fossil is also being turned into lime this is where forest is spending his time it's pretty good turning all of it into the right stuff uh, and hopefully this will then mean that he takes the stuff all the way down are we going to go generate some what uh, no wait wait this should have been destroyed ages ago this was an ethanol line. I think we'll just take it that far. That really shouldn't still be here. We were just trying to scoop stuff out of the ground. Uh, Forrest, if you could please move over here. And then maybe rip this down. Would, would that be a better way of doing it? Can, can someone rip it down? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, and after that, Forrest is back to punching the rocks. That's pretty good, actually. Okay, so we have the two scanners down, but we have a little bit of an issue. I believe it to be mm, one of these. Hold up, I will press the buttons until we end up in the right place. No, oh, okay, there's one missing over here. This, we have got a big, big problem here. You might see that there is, in fact, 16 kilos of gas down here. But if I hit the gas overlay, that's because it's actually being plugged in by polluted oxygen. That is a big, big problem big problem. So I'm going to go ahead and do something like this. We're going to dig over this way and then we're going to drop a bit of a ladder going down the side here. Uh, I don't want mafic rock. Let's go with igneous rock because that is the local local materials. And then we get down to the bottom here. I want to put down a door and I want to put down an airflow tile. I want to make sure the airflow tile is actually a lower priority than everything else though because I want to get all of this built as fast as possible. Or down time could happen. Either one. Whatever. <laughs> down time will not stop us building this this system here. As you can see, I've got a gas element sensor. This is detecting the top layer of gas. If it is uh, not steam, it will go through this not gate down here and open up this door, which we're trying to get built. Hey, who's... Everybody's just running away. I, I, I really want to get this done. Come on. It's just one day, right? Just one day. Okay, so we've got a bit of a situation on the go here where I'm hoping that the steam pressure will actually force the majority of this polluted oxygen up and out of this way here. Now, this should be picking up steam. So if it does detect the steam uh, for long enough here. It should then close the door back down. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, all the steam will condense in here. Hopefully the fact that we've got 80 grams of carbon dioxide here, but kilograms of steam on this side will mean things get forced out. That That's my hope. That's what I really want to happen. And hopefully these will now fire back up at some point. Apart from we haven't got the temperature in here, but you know, it's a, it's a good place. It's a good start. It's a good start. Oh man. This is the only power source that's working right now. This one power transformer that's outputting here by the looks of it. Oh, this is this is terrible. This is really terrible. Why isn't this outputting? I think we need to give this pump its own little power system. That would probably work out generally all right. I'm not sure where we can fit it in, though. We don't want to put a large one in. We just want a small one because all we're doing is running this, this pump. When our last fails, put a loop around the outside. <laughs> Okay, almost instantly that is sprung into uh, into action for us, but of course it's not working because of this. So that also needs to get hooked up to this power line. Is that what we're saying here? Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, that's much, 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 much better. 
remember when we were working on space? Yeah, I, I kind of do. We are slowly but surely trying to get all the uh, all the steel into these bunker doors here. But as you can see, we've only done two so far. It's a little bit of a letdown. Maybe we could go as far as to uh, start opening up everything. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I think we were, we're actually a little way off of all of this. So one thing I've done is ask for all the fossil to be brought here. And uh, actually, I'm going to ask for all the fossil to be brought here. So hopefully everybody can go around and start wrapping up all the fossil that we've got. The problem is, of course, that there is an awful lot of the stuff out and about. If I go to the uh, raw mineral, 20-odd uh, 20, 20, 20 tons, it, it's a lot. As you can see, it's just kind of all scattered all over the place. So it's going to take a long time for everyone to try and bring it together. But once we have got it all together, it will be a much, much, much quicker process to get all this line made. I think another thing I'd like to do is to get myself a conveyor loader over here. We're going to spin this one around here like that. We're going to grab it like this and as soon as it gets built we're going to set it to only pick up lime. And then ideally we're going to take it all the way down and across and down here and deliver it all over to the metal refinery. That should be nice and easy. I say nice and easy. It's going to take a while but it should be doable. I'm not sure whether this can just go directly into that or not. We'll give it a go. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll be able to just then deposit the stuff around Around. What are you doing? Oh, you're delivering all the... Oh! Oh, I didn't know they could build themselves. Well, I mean, they're not going to build themselves, but they're making the deliveries themselves. That's pretty cool. The big problem, the big problem seems to be the lack of water. We have got a little bit going almost constantly, but it's not making its way up here to create oxygen, and that is a that is a serious issue. One thing I might do, if I can, is take one of the... Oh, I don't know if it's going to work out the way I want it to, but as you can see, we've got a, a spit out over there. So if we take this and go, hey, can we have another one there? Hopefully it will then steal all the water and send it in for this uh, oxygen production before anything else. Why isn't anybody around here crushing stuff up? Forest? Forest can't... Oh! It's a big problem. It's a very big problem. Okay, I'm having to let them out without their suits on for the moment. It's probably a bad idea, but I need to get this this lime underway. If, if we don't get the steel done, then we can't go to space. And if we can't go to space, well, are we even in space? Of course, getting all this water out of here would also be a massive boon if we could if we could do that. Like, why why isn't this siphoning off at point at times? Okay, because we had a mismatch between this liquid pipe and this liquid. Uh, sorry, these temperature sensors. Uh, this one was only going to 40, so we're already cooling down the water to 40 degrees. But this one won't take out unless it's below 20. So I'm gonna ask it to carry on going all the way down to 20. I think I think that would be a really good idea. Could also end up putting a bit more steam, uh, a bit more heat into this steam, and then maybe maybe we'd be able to run it like a proper steam box again. That, that would be great at some point. With the conveyor loader going into place, I'm going to come down to... Oh, 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 it, it stole, it, stole it off me when it actually got piled up. That's a bit weird. Uh, I want to go to refined uh, mineral. No, we don't. No, we don't. What, what am I on about? I want manufactured material industrial ingredient is one of these. Consumable ore. Of, co of course it's consumable ore. Why would it be anything else? And as long as someone comes along to do the job here, forest low priority, get out of here. How do we make this a higher priority? Why isn't this his highest priority? Well, now because it's night time, but what? Okay, here comes Dr. Captain Substitute Job. He's not quite as good at this as Forest is. Forest was definitely like, get this job finished quicker, but we can use the powers of... Oh. Oh, I was about to say powers of time delay, but we, we ran out of... We ran out of power. Like, actual physical energy. Oh. Maybe, maybe, maybe we could do with having a battery on this system here. Let, let's go ahead and do that, shall we? I'm just going to throw down a smart battery because they're the ones that are smart. Yes, yes, as you can tell by my commentary, it's a very, very, very closed loop system now. It's all smart, yes. <laughs> Well, anyway, I come, along comes Mr. Lion to come and do some rock crushing here. And when this is topped up to the maximum, it should drop a little bit of lime on the floor. And then this guy should pick it up. Yeah, great. Pop it over to this way. We get 10 kilograms of lime. And is it not pipe blocked? Oh, no. Pipe blocked? Okay, is this not the way then? Okay, fair enough. I, I really did actually think this was the way. We'll, we'll have to figure out another way. I think the way that it responds, uh, if I click on the right thing, is actually by sending it to a conveyor receptor. Maybe we could just drop it on the chute here. Yeah, that, that doesn't work. That, that might be where we want to put it. Okay, let's see if that's any better and see what it does. I think I think this will be much better. Let's uh, just get someone down here quick and uh, see what see what it does when we're down. 
Okay, conveyor receptacle has been put in place. If we jump all the way up here, is this? Yes, things are, things are being moved here. Okay, 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 that's cool, that's cool. The lime is being picked up. It's being put into this little uh, receptacle here, as we were saying, the conveyor loader, and then it moves them along the line here. It brings them all the way down, and we're gonna have a long time to wait, so let's, uh, let's, let's wait for it down here, shall we? Okay, it's taken us best part of half a cycle to get here, but it looks like it's gonna be fine. If I hit this again, what is it? Shift F3, let's do that. Shift F3, I would before it even drops on the floor, this thing picks it up and starts loading everything into the uh, metal refiner here. Hopefully now, with this whole system on the go, we should be constantly getting uh, lime fed in. And hopefully forest should be coming along and making many, many more... Many, many more steals. Of course, the question... <laughs> Wow, meteors. Uh, but of course, the question then is, can we get things delivered up to here in that sort of time? And it looks like, actually, yeah, it's going to work out pretty well for us. It's just, it's going to take time, guys. It's going to take time. Oh, 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 oh. Why, why do we have people without uniform? Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, this is working out quite well. So we've got over a thousand uh, kilograms of steel in the in the box here. Unfortunately, it's not registering on the on the actual resources tab because we need to take it up to up to space and put it into place. But that shouldn't be too much trouble. I wonder if anybody's on this. No one's on it at the moment. But of course, like all these jobs are getting done. Speaking of all these jobs, people came along and did this. My intention is to come up here and start firing up these bunker doors one at a time, digging out this way until we can eventually have this entire area fully exposed and we can then have the space scanners controlling everything. That, that should work out, right? And doing a quick bit of maths, these uh, eight doors take 800, uh, sorry, 960 megawatts drawn. Uh, this conductive wire can handle 2,000, so actually I can handle both sets of doors with this one wire. Ah, uh, that's, that's going to be very, very useful. Probably do the same with the automation wire as well. Oh, we've got some floating regolith above this bunker door. This bunker door's not real yet, but, uh, yeah, that's floating. We do have the steel in here, though, so at some point that's going to be well up for us. She had literally just dug out the tile that looked like it was invisible, so we had, had missing regolith, invisible regolith, not regolith that didn't exist. Oh, I don't like this. People are out here while there are rocks falling from the sky. We are, however, doing this one bunker door at a time. So I'm, I'm kind of all right with that, kind of not all right. As you can see, uh, Mad Frank gone, goes and gets himself uh, quite well covered by the bunker door while he's digging. But Miss Alain, not so much. Oh, that was very lucky. Like, very lucky. Oh, we're back to being told insufficient resources. That's a shame. We got really close. Which one is the power plant down below this one okay that uh yeah we got really close to having all of these turned over let's have a look in the storage bin how much more do we actually have down here oh no that's refinement oh it that stole that off me i didn't click to close it 85 kilos yeah we need we need to work on more i assume we're, we're out of uh iron to steel i assume we're out of um lime no it's just a work error we're just waiting for someone to come along and actually do the job it turns out wow mm, some some something's happened here. How has this happened? What? How has this got got all jammed up? Let's ask someone to come along and drop a little bit. See what happens. Hmm. This is not good. I'm assuming. No. No. I was about to say I'm assuming it's because it's tried to feed in, but that that's not how it works. There's nowhere for it to have have overlaid on itself. This is full. That's what's going on. This is full. We need to empty this now. Okay, I see. I see. I see. Okay, here comes Luna. She's just gonna let out a whole bunch of this water. Let, let, let's just let's just let it go and keep it out. I was kind of expecting that to fill on the floor. But to be honest with you, all right, we'll we'll figure this out another way, I suppose. My plan is just to keep going until all this water is empty from here. And then at the same time, I'm totally turning these up. Okay, this seems to be workable. The next thing I want to do, this whole pile of water here. Can we empty that? Is that a thing we can do? Okay, here comes Jelly to do so. I'm expecting just big cloud of steam everywhere. That's that's totally what I'm expecting. Okay, steam is loose. I'm a little bit worried about what's going to happen over here, actually. This door is open. Maybe this isn't the best way of doing it. Maybe we need to come up with a, an, a, another way. Because this is all just letting the steam out, isn't it? That, hmm, I'm not sure that I'm overly happy with this. Okay, close, 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 close. 
close. Pick up the steam, guys. Pick up the steam. Okay, there we go. Steam has been detected. This now shuts down. It's going to open and close a few times until the carbon dioxide and the steam reach equilibrium. I think we're all right with that, though. So we're finally at the point where this hot water, well, cold water, is finally getting dumped out. Because this system, as soon as the quick save stops, the auto save, uh, because the tank is saying, hey, I was full a second ago, it's sending out a signal that comes into this uh, AND gate that goes, ah, yeah, you were full. Uh, it also checks the temperature here, going, oh, yeah, you're under 20 degrees, beautiful. At which point it turns this liquid shut off on, and it kind of passes up here. If this liquid shut off wasn't on, it would then move on through and go through the cooling loop again. But uh, that, none of that is what none of that is a is a problem right now. We are we are just shifting water out. I'm hoping that this will pull us out of the little weird situation that we're in. Look how it's like just completely flowing straight through. That's that's beautiful. That's that's almost exactly what we want. I'm wondering whether putting a bridge across here would save us some effort, would save us uh, like some plumbing time, if you see what I'm saying. If I go uh, that way round, it's achieving exactly the same as if it was being dumped down. But if this then backs up, it would then dump it in the tank, right? Right? Yeah, I think so. Misaligned is so outrageously hard in her own abilities that she just comes out to space on her own. She's like, yeah, no, I'm just going to hold my breath and walk through vacuum. What have you got to say about it? Made all my power lines and automation lines out of iron up here because that's mainly just lying around on the floor. Look at it. Just here to be picked up. So Jelly and Mad Frank come along doing the work of putting those wires, wires and cables in place. Really waiting for this last bit uh, to get done. Of course, it's just a construction error. And so at some point, someone's also going to come along and do that. But we've got all these wires to do first. So I think I think Mad Frank might have got a little bit stuck into that particular system there. That's fine. That's fine. As you can see, the the uh, the numbers are counting down. We're on double figure, uh, single figures now. Sorry. So someone should just suddenly come along. Is that actually Mimi? Says Mad Frank. Oh, oh I see. I, I see. It must have swapped over at the last moment. Brilliant. Awesome. Let's put these other wires in, like so. But of course, as well as all that, we've got one other thing we need to do. Ah, uh, drag that out and dig all this up. Of course. Forest, what are you doing down here? Why, why are you even in this area? Um, let's uh, let's move you up here. I, I don't even know what would bring you down here. Hopefully nothing too severe because we're not going to let you carry on doing it. Oh, I do hope these wires get in place before Mr. Line comes along and rips all the floor out from under them. Maybe a good idea to put these ladders all the way across. Oh, who now? What? Dr. Captain Subs. In fact, Dr. Captain Subs has been doing this a lot. I mean, obviously he's got used to having an exosuit. We should uh, get that back to being the case. So I've been looking at these robo miners. I think it'd be really good for clearing this area out. The first thing I'm noticing is, of course, that all of this will just come down and drop on top of the robo miner. So that's probably not the best way of doing it. But the other thing I noticed is obviously that we, we were talking about the 45 degree angle coming out of the space scanners. These guys are underneath that. So uh, we don't quite, unfortunately, cover the middle here. That 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 is a big problem. That is a big, big problem. Oh, uh, we got a problem. Ah, uh, we got a problem. It's not a big problem that there is a problem here. We want to get a bit of drywall and just pop that. What should we make the drywall out of? Oh, I think, uh, I mean, obsidian's nice. Do we have a bit of light? We can't. All right, obsidian it is then. Okay, somewhere along the line, we have definitely improved everything. So I'm just uh, going to enable these buildings again. And no doubt we'll find out why this is a hideous, hideous mistake at some point. I mean, if we continue down on the diagonal, I could totally put another one here. Let's do this. I'm going to press shift and hold that down. And then I also want to put one on this bit. Okay, cool. So this one will, will first dig out all the debris here. Then this one will wake up and dig out all the debris here. And then this one will wake up and dig, dig out all the other debris. The first thing I do need to do, though, is to move this diagonal line down just a little bit. No, I feel like I feel like this might be a little bit wrong because this isn't going to be able to reach down, is it? I mean, what happens if I take these out? Does it? I don't know. We'll find out. Mm, no, holding it like over here or like over the edge. I don't. I don't think it will reach down. Hmm. And if we could get a little closer, we could have two in the middle watching each other. That that might be a plan. No, because we'd still end up with them both being buried and then not being able to watch each other. Hmm. Okay, we're just we're just gonna have to sacrifice a little spot in the middle here. Uh, that would cover both, but I'm also directly over the space scanner, so I kind of don't want to do that. I could pop it here and still be. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. I think that should cover. Well, it'll dig itself out. That one can dig that. Oh no, no, still, still no good. Still no good. It needs to be on these two, right? Let's let's do that. Let's do that. I mean, to say this feels a little wasteful is uh, is kind of understating it. I think. Oh, I could put it. I could put it on a ladder. Are you kidding me? No, surely not. 
Now that this one down below is at 25%, it has stopped sending its water back up, keeping us at a constant workable volume. This is really good. I just wish the rest of it would work quite as well. I feel like what we actually need to do is to take the petroleum that's in this little uh, little cycling unit here and actually pass it through a thermal aqua tuner. Get, get some serious power on the chilling here. Unfortunately, we don't want to use this one because that would then overheat our... Uh, our steam turbines at the top there and the whole thing would break. Okay, I don't think this one's permanent. I think I'm just going to carry on marching them out sideways. But I've got roughly the system I think we're going to use here. I'm sure it will fail. I'm sure there's a reason why it will all go horribly, horribly wrong. But I can't see it immediately, the reason why. And when it does appear, we will work around it, I suppose. Turns out all this time I hadn't even researched the transit tubes. The reason I'm doing that, of course, is because it's a very long way up here. And I've uh, got a little bored of having to wait for them to come all the way up. I don't seem to be able to scroll out. Ah, it's the autosave, isn't it? Oh, that auto save. Yeah, it's a very long way from here to here. Having to wait for people to uh, to, to transit up and down all the time is starting to take a little bit of worry. So uh, I have asked Monsieur Forrest to come along and do a little bit of research over here. And he should be able to turn that time into some technology for us. Of course, this is just another power drain to worry about. Okay, so I have momentarily disconnected the wire over here to separate one set of doors from the other. I think it might finally, once this li uh, once finally this line has been put in place, uh, might be time to fire up all these robo miners and see if they can deal with what's going on up here. I I'm not sure I'm 100% confident, but we'll find out. I need this switch built, guys. I need this switch. Are we building it out of uh, yeah lead? Lead's very far away. Let's make it out of something else. Yeah, here we go, Mimi's on it. I believe it comes in on a green signal, which, if you ask me, is the worst way to bring it in. But this should now open up all the doors. I mean, surely you'd want to have this on the red signal just so, like, it doesn't come in and trip out all your devices. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little bit weird there. What's going on here? Why are we still not getting any power? We've got things hooked up. Okay, yeah, so there, there are big problems all around. Downtime has happened. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is this is big issues. This, of course, is super hot stuff. So this is all started to instantly. Oh man, I made one out of lead. That's no good. They should all have been out of iron. Uh, but they've all started to instantly overheat. Even even the iron ones. Ooh. Well, let's close the door and see if at least this one can dig a little, little area out. Everybody else is going to have to come and dig this out. And tomorrow, replace them all for steel ones. Maybe get some sort of cooling loop on the go. Oh, look, this one's digging. Okay, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Let's see if it can at least un unentomb this one. I mean, there's no reason why not, right? It is just, like, just sat there in its thing. Oh, but this is causing itself to... Well, I mean, it is made out of lead, but it's causing itself to overheat. This is... This is just all round terrible, right? <laughs> I mean, that's still not that hot, is it? That's that. They could still, they could still be better. Well, yeah, we're gonna have to do some serious cooling. Hmm, that's a shame. I was just kind of hoping to like pump some, uh, pump some, some pipes through here and just transfer the the uh, the, the temperature around. But no, we, I mean we've got a whole bunch of ethanol. We could we could do some serious cooling. Okay, many cycles have passed, and I've managed to go through and get a whole bunch of these robo miners made up here. But I've also been working on a little uh, cooling box down the bottom here. As you can see, we've got a bit of a carbon dioxide issue, but because we are exposed to space in the background here, all of this has been just leaching its way out and disappearing. I'm thinking that might be. The the way that I just deal with how to chill down the steam turbine, but mostly, mostly I'm waiting for the thermal aqua tune to get enough steel to be able to build one. I suppose I could make it out of gold amalgam, but 175 is just not the 200 that I'm looking for. How did this happen? What happened? Look, we got a break in the wire. No, I didn't. How? Still waiting on the steel for the thermal aqua tuner, but I can report that it got cool enough in this hydrogen area down below where it's been dormant for uh, almost its entire dormancy. It got cool enough in here that all the water condensed so we could just sweep it up and move it on out of here. No longer will I have to worry about steam contaminating my hydrogen. I just need to worry about all the other gases contaminating my hydrogen. But we are are very close. Look at that. 200 more steel to be made. One thing that I do find a little strange about up here is despite the fact that all of this is just open to space and it can d disappear over there anytime it likes, it uh, seems to be taking quite a long time to actually do so. Of course, when this does actually happen, I'm going to destroy this ladder here, d d uh, draw a line straight across, turn this into a doorway and fill this in, uh, and then it should be, should be a nice controlled system for us to use. Let's make sure we sweep this up as well. Oh, this is interesting. We've just kind of got stuck at six micrograms five micrograms i wonder if i take this out whether it will help because of course carbon dioxide sinks so i see what 
what's going on here, but the diffusion is also a thing, right? Let's let's try and see if that can help. Someone, someone please take that tile out. Okay, it's... It is kind of slopping about, but not a great deal. All right, we've definitely lost some down here. Yeah, and the numbers are still getting small. Okay, that's that's good. I wonder how this is going to just ripple through. At some point, it's all gonna just do that. All right, beautiful. Now we're at vacuum conditions. Exactly what I was after. Just gotta wait for someone to come along and put some water in here now. Let's uh, up that cut priority just a little bit. Okay, as you can see, the basic cooling unit is in place here, but it's gonna say, hey, can you only cool this down as the eth if the ethanol is up, like, you know, six degrees or so? That's not where I want it to be. I want it to be, like, minus 40. Yeah, let's really start to bring that down. I will just double check quickly that minus 40 was workable. I mean, look, yeah, we could go all the way down to a minus 100 if we want it. Or do we want to? I think we might want to. Let's do it. Let's do it. Minus 90 to be safe. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Mistakes have been made. I haven't got an output running over that way. I need to get in there to build that somehow. All right, this this should be easy enough. I'm just going to take down this one. I'm just going to take down this one. Thankfully, it's still vacuum on both sides, so it shouldn't be too much trouble. I was kind of hoping that if I was cooling down these uh, bunker tiles here, it would also cool down the Robo Miner, but it's barely dropped down 0.1 of a degree, and I suppose that kind of only really leaves us with one test to do. There's not much regolith here, so who knows what's actually going to happen. This thing's come back on, so it's telling me that it's not in uh, not expecting a moving object. Uh, if we've opened this up, is this now going to run? Is it going to... There we go. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I'm probably going to just sit here with my finger on the switch because I, I think we're just going to get immediate and uh, very very strong overheating out of interest which group of batteries is emptying this out okay this this one over here is opening it's not it's not doing it very quickly is it it's not doing it very quickly at all okay so now that these are very nearly open let's, let's speed this up a little bit let's see if we can get them actually open uh once that happens boom okay open down it goes let's slow down time again throw this switch nothing's gone oh my gosh i can't handle it so it looks like maybe we're all right for there we go there's the heating damage okay so if we could if we could do better oh is that actually wait 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 wait. is that actually the pipe that's the pipes okay yeah that make that makes a lot of sense all right maybe ethanol's not the winner here what can go up to 300 degrees not much to be fair not much I would say that that was an experiment partially success successful. And I think with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time where we're going to figure out what exactly we could put in here without just turning it to sour gas. That might be a big problem. Uh, and we will, like, it really looks like it is something that is almost, almost working. I, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. But I will see you then Oh, when we're going to do that. Bye.